Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry gets candid about family time with Archie during isolation in California. Prince Harry is embracing family time during his lockdown with Meghan Markle and their 11-month-old son, Archie, amid the coronavirus pandemic. Prince Harry talks to families about COVID-19 challenges. Hi guys. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> how is everyone? Okay, okay, how are you? <laughs> yeah, not, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it's uh, certainly strange times. Everyone is experiencing the same thing in a very sort of unique way. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. But the longer the longer this goes on for, I imagine the certainly the harder it is for, for each and every one of you. It's very nice to see the familiar faces on here. You know, the resilience and the strength that you guys have is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and you must never, ever, ever, ever forget that. And of course, there's going to be hard days. I can't even begin to imagine how hard it is for you guys. You're having one kid at 11 months old. So to see what you guys uh, are going through on a day-to-day -day basis, honestly, so much respect to every single one of you. Um, and, to, and to Rachel, to you, you know, as you yeah. quite rightly say, there is there's a hell of a lot of positives that are, that are happening at the same time. And being able to have family time, so much family time that you almost think, oh, do I, do I feel <laughs> guilty for having so much family time as well? well you, you've, got to, you've got to celebrate those moments where you just are on the floor rolling around in hysterics because of something that's happened. And then there's inevitably half an hour later, maybe a day later, there's going to be something that you have to deal with. And there's no way that you can run away from it. You can't even distract yourself in a different room. But as long as you guys are looking after yourselves and looking after each other, that is the best that you can do. The Duke of Sussex, who recently moved to Los Angeles with his family, shared insight into his isolation period in a special video call with parents and carers in the UK who are looking after seriously ill kids. Last weekend, the new dad, took part in the candid call with two parents, a specially trained nurse and the head of one of his long-standing charities, Well Child, which provides care for seriously ill children and young people in the UK. He shared, There's a hell of a lot of positives that are happening at the same time, and being able to have family time, so much family time, that you almost think, do I feel guilty for having so much family time? You've got to celebrate those moments where you are just on the floor rolling around in hysterics. Inevitably, half an hour later, maybe a day later, there's going to be something that you have to deal with, and there's no way you can run away from it. Harry, who has been patron of Wellchild for more than a decade, said, It's very nice to see the familiar faces on here. He went on to praise the families calling them super parents for their grace under such pressure. He said, The resilience and the strength that you guys have is absolutely incredible. You must never, ever, ever, ever forget that. Of course, there are going to be hard days. I can't even begin to imagine how hard it is for you guys. Having one kid at 11 months old is enough, he said of his son Archie, who turns one year old in May. During the 30-minute call, Harry heard about how the group was coping amid the coronavirus crisis, which has brought extra challenges on already stressed families and carers of ill children. From issues with accessing complex medical care, to keeping the virus away from already vulnerable patients and their families, they discussed the special challenges they all face during isolation. When asked how he was doing, Harry replied, not too bad. I think it's certainly strange times. Everyone is experiencing the same thing in a very unique way. What the longer this goes on for, I imagine the harder it is for each and every one of you. He added. It's all about morale. If morale is up, if you wake up in the morning and go right new day, got my whole family here, what are we going to do? Of course, there's that fear of what might happen, but there's so much that's out of our control, and all of a sudden we've realized how small we are in the grand scheme of things. 
Harry may have relocated to the Los Angeles area with his wife and son, but he is keeping up with the same charities and causes that he championed in the UK before his royal exit. Among those he spoke to was well-child nurse Rachel Gregory, who supports kids and young people who require long-term ventilation across Nottinghamshire, Lincolnshire, and Derbyshire. She said, These children need round-the-clock care 24 hours a day. You can't expect parents to do that on their own. They have to open their doors at this vulnerable time to external carers, which is a huge concern for them. Also on the call was Leanne Cooper from Lincoln, whose 13-year-old daughter Sophie has cerebral palsy, dystonia, scoliosis, and multiple complex medical needs. There is a lot of information out there, but not a lot for vulnerable families, and certainly not for children with complex medical needs, she said on the call. If we are in a position where carers can't come to work, because they might be symptomatic, there is no way we would survive when Sophie needs care seven nights a week, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It is terrifying. Well, child CEO Colin Dyer told the prince that basic supplies are needed from food to cleaning products. A lot of families are finding it difficult getting themselves included on vulnerable lists. These families are always isolated and hidden. Now, they are more isolated and more hidden than ever before. Getting recognition that they are among the most vulnerable people that we've got in this country is really tough because the focus just doesn't seem to be on families like this. And they need to find new ways of raising money so they can continue to help other families. Dyer added on the one hand, Well Child and lots of other charities are in the middle of trying to adapt to help the very people we are here to help. But on the other hand, we are in survival mode. We are trying to make sure that we can access as much funding as we can so that on the other side of this, we are still here because families will need us more than ever. Harry said he hopes their message will be heard. This is hard on everyone, but it is especially hard on you. I know that Wellchild are doing everything they can to support you. Hopefully, through this video, we can make it more clear and obvious to government and everybody else that you are in the vulnerable bracket and Wellchild needs more help. It is really nice to see you all smiling and happy. Keep going, keep the morale up, keep busy, keep being creative, dare yourself to try new hobbies, and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Good news. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle volunteer to deliver food to people living with critical illnesses in Los Angeles after learning charity drivers were overloaded and needed help. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle delivered food to Los Angeles residents living with critical illnesses, it has been revealed. A couple who moved to the city last month volunteered with charity project Angel Food on Easter Sunday and returned on Wednesday to drop off non-perishable meals to 20 more vulnerable people in the city. Speaking to ET Online, Project Angel Food's executive director, Richard Ayout, told how the couple contacted the charity after learning its drivers are overloaded, needed more support as they try and feed people during quarantine. Mr. Ayout said, they told us they heard our drivers were overloaded and wanted to volunteer to lighten the driver's workload. He explained the couple followed strict social distancing guidelines, wearing masks and gloves while keeping six feet or more apart from any members of the public. Project Angel Food serves 1,600 meals a day, which will now rise to 2,000 during the coronavirus crisis, ensuring some of those most at risk are fed. It is thought to be the first charity publicly supported by Harry and Meghan since their move to California from Canada. The couple are now in quarantine with their son Archie Mountbatten, Windsor, who turns one next month. Yesterday, it also emerged, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had donated $117,000 to British charity Feeding Britain 
to support efforts to keep vulnerable populations fed during lockdown. The couple announced they are launching a new charitable foundation named ArcaWell this month. They said they look forward to getting started with the ArcaWell Foundation, which will replace their Sussex Royal brand. The pair also have plans to include their own charity as well as a website as part of their new venture. So there you have it. That's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.